Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And I have kind of a different video to do today. I have kind of a show and tell and I'm very, very excited about it. But before I get into that, I want to make an announcement, um, kind of last minute's notice. But it was also announced over in the Facebook group for a true crime book club. Mel and I have decided to move the live stream. We had initially decided that the live stream would be for tomorrow, which is the 12th of February. But due to the Super Bowl being tomorrow evening and people going to parties and people getting ready for the Super Bowl and things like that, we thought we would move it to the following week, which is the 19th. So all of the information about the live stream is over on the Facebook group. If you are part of a true crime book club or if you would like to join, it's not too late. Um, you can go join it. it. The link is below. So go check that out. And the live stream, the first live stream of the year will be next Sunday. And I'm really, really excited about it. So go check that out. All right. <clears throat> Just wanted to make that little announcement so that people weren't sitting in front of their computers tomorrow going, um, where's the live stream? We were waiting for the live stream. All right. So this is something that I got from the post office box. I showed it in a PO box on uh, I was going to say unhaul, a P.O. Box unboxing that I did over on my Peter Dusev channel. And that is, and this was a gift from Kristen. So I want to say a very special thank you to Kristen, who sent me some very nice gifts. And she sent me this book. Well, it's kind of a book, but here I'm going to show you in just a second. And it is called The Ultimate Reading Challenge. 25 plus rewards introduced. I need to put my reading glasses on for this. <laughs> Hold on just a second. <clears throat> 25 plus rewards, including bookmarks, note cards, book plates, coasters, and more. And the ultimate reading challenge, complete a goal, open an envelope, and reveal your bookish prize. Okay? And for anybody that's interested in maybe getting this for yourself or as a gift, I will look online and I will try to find where you can get this and I will find a link below. On the back tells you all about it, which I'm going to read to you before I show you because the inside is very, very cool. Um, invigor invigorate your reading life with 25 unique challenges and reward yourself with 25 plus bookish surprises. This delightful collection inspires bookworms to engage with their reading life in a fresh new way. Each pocket inside this portfolio challenges readers with a bookish prompt. Once the reader completes their task, they can open the pocket to claim their prize. Bibliophiles are encouraged to read personally, reread a book you loved as a child, ask a family member what book has made a lasting impression on them, find and read that book. Read compassionately, read a book that features an indigenous person, read a book about a person with a disability, read a book by an author whose ethnicity is different from your own. Read broadly. Visit your local bookstore and ask a bookseller to recommend a book based on your recent favorites. Read in a place you've never read before. This kind of reminds me, honestly, of like readathons. When you do a readathon, so this is kind of like a living readathon, so to speak. Engage creativity or cre engage creatively. Make and order a snack or meal described in a book you've read. I think that one sounds really cool. Write a letter to someone who has influenced your reading life. Prizes are thoughtfully curated to supplement the reading life and include laser engraved wooden bookmark, bookish greeting cards, coffee cup sleeve, reading notes notebook, and much more. So there you go. Are you right? <laughs> Did I say, are you right? Are you right? Isn't that right? Isn't that cool? That's cool, isn't it? Okay. Are you ready for it? Dun, 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 dun. Isn't that so cool? This is such a neat gift, you guys. Like, um, I didn't really know what to expect when I opened it, when I opened it on camera. And then I, like, opened it, like, and looked at it later, and I was, like, looking through all these different things, and I was like, I don't, I don't want to look in the pockets, because the pockets are where, like, the little gifts are. So you have to finish the task first, and then you get the gift that is inside. And so, like, I didn't want to ruin it for myself and, like, look and see what each gift was. So I'm not going to look at the gifts. Uh, I might, like... And further videos show you like different gifts that I've won on here and stuff like that. But I thought this was just so cool. And so if you look on here, you can see that each of these envelopes has a different prompt on here. Like read a novella or short, uh, um, a short novel, typically under 200 pages, it says. And then once you read that, you get to open the envelope and you get whatever reward is in there. Isn't that cool? 
find and read a book that is much longer than your usual reads. Write a letter to someone who has influential reading life. We talked about that on the back. Read in a place you've never read before. Read a book you selected based purely on its cover design. Oh, I like that one. Reread a classic you hated in high school. What was a classic I hated in high school? God, I don't even know. You know, I have to tell you what's really interesting is I did not love Lord of the Flies, but I think I read that in junior high, not high school. So that might be one that would be interesting for me to reread, would be Lord of the Flies. Um, attend an author event in person or virtually. Um, right there. That would be really a cool one. Listen to a reading themed podcast. Read a book about a person with a disability. Read a graphic novel. Reread a book you loved as a child. Visit your local bookstore and ask a bookseller to recommend a book based on your recent favorites. That would be fun to go into a bookstore anyway. Like for somebody like me, like I don't love going and asking for help when I go to any kind of store because just, you know, I have social anxiety. And so for me to go into a store and ask for help, I don't love that. So that would be a good one for me anyway. I do love going to bookstores though. Um, and the library. Read a book by an author whose ethnicity is different from your own. Read a new book that is primarily intended for children. Um, go to your favorite, this one has two envelopes and then a bigger envelope. Go to your favorite section of the library or bookstore blindly, take a book off the shelf and take it home to read. Write down a favorite quote or passage from a beloved book, display it in your home. Read a book that's, oh, so I, I guess that one's different than these. Read a book that's been sitting on your shelf unread for more than a year. <laughs> that would be almost every single book that I have up there. Read a book in a genre you've never read before. Read a book published this year. Um, gift a copy of your favorite book to a friend or family member, special occasion, not required. Read a book that features an indigenous person. Make or order a snack or meal described in a book you've read. Oh, I love cozy mysteries, so that will be really easy. And then this one, I can't imagine what this present is right here. Maybe a pen or a pencil. Read a book currently on a bestseller list. And then ask a family member what book has made a lasting impression on them. Find and read that book. And finally, participate in a book club. Oh my God. In person or virtually, check with your local library or favorite bookstagrammers for suggestions. Well, I can open that one since I am currently in two book, uh, book clubs. So let's open this one. I'm like nervous to open this. <gasps> so much okay and the little pad of paper is like i don't know if you can see it on here but it's like old school like library cards that you would put like in the back of library books and it says on here author at the top title and then due date and then borrower borrower's name oh my god i love that so much <laughs> boo radley my dog is right down here boo radley we already got our first present we already got our first reward are you so excited he said, not as excited as I was when I got my bang trim, trim this morning. <laughs> he got a little bang trim this morning his dad gave him. Isn't that a cool book? That is such a cool book. And that'll really motivate me to read a little bit more. And I already got a reward. We already got a reward, Boo Radley. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If I can find this online, I will put the link for it below for anybody that wants to purchase it. So anyway, let me know what you think. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.